I've got really good news. Hudson's gotten a job. And guess what? He's gotta be earning enough money for us now. So we don't need you anymore. You can leave and do whatever you like. Huh. He's finally gotten a job. That's great. I was starting to worry that he'd never become independent. It's been two years since he graduated from college. But in all that time, he hasn't done anything. It would have been a waste of his education if he just sat around sleeping and eating and surfing the net all day long like he's been doing. So this is a great start. I hope he can make the most of what he learned from college and do something that he loves. He's still young, so he's got to experience more of the outside world. Where did he get the job? There's no need to talk about your little brother like that. What do you mean? I just said what I thought. I'm wishing the best for him. Then lounging around at home with me, paying for everything he eats. And you doing all the housework for him isn't what's best for him. He needs this job. You're his big sister. Can't you be happy for him? I don't understand how you could be so cold. He worked so hard in college, so of course. He deserves some time to rest and enjoy his own time before getting a job. You didn't even get into college, remember? So don't act so high and mighty. You're just a high school graduate. <laughs> didn't get into college? That's how you remember it? That's a fairly lopsided memory of what actually happened. It's not that I couldn't advance to college because I didn't have the grades. And it's not like I didn't want to go. I did want to go. Like, badly. First off, no one would pay for my tuition and entrance fees. And I couldn't even set up a student loan because I couldn't get someone to be my co-signer. On top of that, I couldn't even use the money I'd saved up for my part-time job to attend a short course because I had to get a job. And the reason that I had to get a job was because someone was complaining that I was living off of them. Namely, you, mom. I had to give up going to college and had to earn money to help pay for the bills. Because you asked me to, mom. No, you coerced me. I didn't have a choice. If you weren't going to help me pay the fees. I've been working ever since I graduated from high school and putting all my salary into this house. I've given up a lot. And you want to look down on me for being a high school grad? You must be joking. So what if I stopped you? You wouldn't have been able to graduate like Hudson did anyway. I knew that it would be a waste of money to send you. So I got you to do something more worthwhile. You should be thankful that I saved you four years of your life. Anyway, you shouldn't make such a big deal about the salary you make. It's practically pocket money. Don't be so big-headed. You can start bragging when you make more money. Until then, you don't have the right to act like you're better than your brother. <laughs> pocket money? Are you being serious? I work hard to make money. And I think I can say that you're pretty much living off of the food that I buy with that salary and warmed up because of the electricity bills I pay. And you think you can look down on it as pocket money? You gotta be kidding me. Just how special do you think you are? Even though you only went to high school. Why don't you just acknowledge that you're not as smart or as skilled as you like to make yourself out to be? I've been putting $2,000 into this house every month for the past 10 years. I think I'm entitled to a little bit of gratitude. Don't you think anything of the sacrifices I've made? Gratitude? For what exactly? I think you'll have to remind me what I'm supposed to feel grateful for. When I first started working, I wasn't making a lot of money. But I knew that I had to work harder so we wouldn't have to worry about buying things we wanted. So I did my best to get promoted and finally got a pay raise a few years after I started working. But ever since my salary increased, I've been paying for almost everything, every month, without fail. For 10 whole years, I hardly ever spent money on myself and never complained. Even when I couldn't buy the clothes I wanted and couldn't go on holiday with my friends. I only recently started earning enough to put aside some money for myself. But even that's not a lot. You can't expect me to save a lot when over 95% of my salary goes towards this house. And you don't think you have to feel grateful? It's not like I expect you all to thank and bow down to me. But I definitely didn't expect you to be this indifferent to the sacrifices I'm making. Don't you feel anything at all? No, I really don't understand what you expect from me. It's only natural that you should take care of the family, don't you think? You shouldn't be so selfish. Anyway, I don't understand how you can make such a big deal over such a pathetic amount of money. Whether you put that money into paying the bills or not, it doesn't make any difference. More importantly, you should be grateful that I'm still letting you live in this house. You're already a grown adult, so you should be living by yourself or getting married. But you still haven't left. I am grateful, Mom. That's why I've been paying for everything. 
then don't act so arrogantly over $2,000. I gave birth to you, so there's no reason for me to be grateful to you. So don't expect me to ever say thank you. I swear on my life that I won't ever say thank you. You don't have to swear on your own life for something like that. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get back to work. I've got a meeting that I've got to prepare for and I'm pretty busy, so we can talk about this another time. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got a business trip next week, so I'll be out of the house for a few days. I thought I should let you know now before I forget to mention it again. You're going on a business trip. You. You don't even have that much money. And you have to make trips for your company? Instead of working for a company that's so cheap and makes you work so hard, why don't you find a better place to work? A place that actually pays you more money. Though considering how useless you are, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the best you can do. You're already 30 years old, you know. You've got to find someone to marry instead of spending all your time working at a company that doesn't even pay you enough. At this rate, you're going to grow old and die alone without ever becoming independent and making a family of your own. You should find someone while you're still young. Do you really have to talk to me like that? Like the choices I've made mean nothing? I don't regret focusing on my career and I enjoy my job right now. I just want to save some money for myself so I can make the most of the time I have. I'm looking for someone when I feel like it. So can you leave me alone about that? There's nothing to rush. I'm going back to work. I'll see you later. Hey, Leilani, can you lend me some money? Again? No way! I don't have any more money to spare this month. I've already lost count of the number of times you've asked me for money for the last few weeks. You can't keep on coming to me for money, Hudson. I don't know what it is that you want, but you should start saving up money yourself. I heard you got a job from mom, so you don't have any excuses anymore. It's a good chance for you to learn how to budget your own money and to use the stuff that you want as motivation to work. Unlike mom, I'm not gonna baby you forever. You've got to start standing on your own two feet from now on, okay? I'm saying this for your sake. Jeez, Leilani, you really sound like an old woman. I thought you were still 30, but if you're gonna lecture me like that, I'm going to get you confused with mom. I just got a job, but it's not like I'm making a lot. I still don't have a lot of money. I just wanted a job so that I could get away from mom and spend more time away from home. You're not here during the day, so you don't know it, but she's really annoying. Even so, it's good that you got a job. She won't bother you so much and you'll have your own money. You can even move out if you wanted to. Mom's got a bad habit of being overprotective of you. Personally, I think you need to learn how to take care of yourself instead of having mom do everything for you. It'll be a good chance for you to become independent. Well, that's if she'll let you out of her sight. She might freak out if her precious baby bird announces he wants to move out of the nest. <laughs> freak? She'll have a total meltdown. Oh yeah. About moving out. Why are we moving to another house all of a sudden? Huh? What do you mean? We're moving house next week, right? Mom didn't tell me why, and all she would say is that she found a better place. But I don't get why we're moving next week. Can't we have more time before we move? Plus, my part-time job is closer to the address we have now. So I wish she would have warned me before deciding. What? Because she never told me that we're moving. Are you sure that's what she said? Huh? You didn't know? That's weird. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. And did you just say part-time? I thought you got a full-time job somewhere. Does that matter? A job's a job. Ugh, oh, seriously? Oh, hang on. I still have some work to finish off, but I'm not done with you. There's a lot of questions I want to ask, so I'll call you later. Hey, what about my allowance? I don't have anything to give you, Hudson. Save up your own money. But I'll think about buying you dinner. What do you think? Really? Thanks! I've been so broke, I haven't been out to eat in ages. But you can't take it back. You already promised to buy me dinner, alright? Yeah, yeah, but don't expect anything fancy. I'm only taking you to the cheap family restaurant down the street. When we meet up, you've got to tell me everything about this new job you have and what you've heard from mom about moving house. Leilani, we've all moved without you. What? There's no point in living with someone that doesn't even earn that much money, so we've all moved out. When you get back home from your business trip, you won't have anywhere to live. If you really want to live with us, you'll have to earn twice as much as you do right now. Otherwise, we have no use for you. Do you understand? If you don't want to be out on the streets, you'll have to work harder. And that might be hard for someone who didn't even go to college.
but that's not my problem. Are you being serious? You moved out because you think I don't make enough money? That I haven't put enough money into paying the bills? And you're telling me to make double of what I'm getting right now? What's wrong with you? Do I really mean that little to you? Is money really all you think about? There's nothing wrong with me. You just don't make enough money. So if you want me to tell you what our new address is, you should do whatever it takes to increase your salary. Even if that means finding a new job or a rich husband who will take care of us. If not, I'm not telling you. And I'll have to disown you for being disobedient and not being a good child to your parents. You must be joking. Are you trying to threaten me? I'm not joking at all. I'm absolutely serious. Hudson's gotten a job. And of course, he'll be earning a lot more. Because unlike you, he actually had the grades to go to college. We don't need your pathetic salary if we got him taking care of us. But if you manage to earn as much as he does, we might think about letting you live with us all. <laughs> Mom, I get that. You must think I'm desperate to live with you guys. But to be honest, I don't really care. You can threaten me all you like, but I'm not going to fall for it. I like my job and I don't have a problem with my current salary. So I'm not going to do anything you say. Oh, really? Fine. Then you'll have to make do all alone. But are you really sure you don't want to know where we've moved? If you're adamant about staying in that low standard job of yours, you'll be stuck with a minimum wage forever. On top of that, you will lose the house. You won't have anywhere to live. Where are you going to live if you don't come and stay with us? You'll be out on the streets all alone, without any shelter or warmth. And once you lose a place to live, you won't be able to work anymore. You lose your family, your home, and the chance to find a new better job all in one go just because you convinced yourself that you are better than us. But in reality, I'm sure you'll suffer a lot without us. Are you sure you want to risk that? Just imagining how lost you'll be is making me laugh. Do you realize that you barely sound like a mother anymore? You've moved house with the intent of making me homeless. Or at least threatening me with so I can bring home more money. Hmm, say whatever you like about my methods. I'm saying all this for your sake. You should be making more money at your age. And after everything I've done for you, I deserve it. Have you forgotten that I gave birth to you? Raised you and fed you? I'm just disciplining you so you'll learn to feel gratitude for the things people have done for you. Gratitude? You want to teach me a lesson on gratitude? The person who said that she would never say thank you to me for the work I've done and the money that I've put into this house? I've been thankful for you raising me always. But I don't understand why I have to be looked down on like that. I've done my best up until now and I can't find any reason why I have to be treated like this. Even if you are my mom, you're the one who should show more gratitude for the things I've done and given up for this family. You love to bring up the whole Leilani's inferior because she didn't go to college thing. But I didn't go because you wouldn't let me. Instead, I worked my ass off for 10 years for you. You always conveniently forget all the things I've done, but love to bring up the fact that you raised me even though you treat me like this. You can't seriously think that I'd be satisfied with the salary you're bringing in. You only earn $2,000 a month. And what's wrong with me praising Hudson? It's the truth. Hudson is going to be earning much more than that pathetic little salary of yours because he was smart enough to go to college. We've all decided to move on without you. If you wanted to live with us again, you'll have to earn double. That's how you can pay me back for raising you up until now. Pay you back? Wow. I should have done this much sooner, but I'll be moving out too. Feel free to do whatever you like. I don't care what you do. It doesn't mean anything to me. I still have Hudson. Yeah, good for you. You don't have to tell me where you live. And I think you said that you wanted to disown me. That sounds great to me. I don't want to have anything to do with you either. I'm going to finally live for myself from now on. From now on, we're strangers. Are you happy with that? That sounds great to me. You would never be good enough for this family anyway. I'm glad we could finally get rid of a weight like you. But are you sure you want to do that? Don't come crying to me if everything goes wrong just like I said earlier. Honestly, you're too proud for your own good. That's why you'll never be able to be better than your brother. All I'm asking is that you find a job that pays you twice the amount you're earning right now and I'll let you live with us. It's simple. You should just be a good girl and listen to what I say, but you never do. You've always been such a problematic child. I've had enough of listening to what you say. 
Listening to you made me lose out on going to college and made me waste 10 years of my life trying to please you. I can't live with you anymore. And this is a great chance for me to finally make a new start. I don't even want to think of you as my mother anymore. So if you've moved out, then that's perfect for me. I've always wondered if there was a chance for us to reconcile. But now that it's clear that we can't, it's like there's a weight off my shoulders. If anything, this situation is all to my advantage. I don't have to hand over all of my salary to you. And I can find a place of my own. I can do all the things I've wanted to do and can finally spend all my money on myself. You may be really happy, but I'm over the moon. What? What's the matter with you? You're going to be homeless and all alone. You can't honestly be happy about all that. <laughs> what? I'm not going to be homeless. You really don't know anything, do you? It's a shame. But you've only got your lack of interest in me to blame. And I'm happy because I can finally rid myself of the toxic mother I've always had a bad relationship with. I'm the happiest I've ever been. And I'm going to be free. Free of you and your manipulation. I'm going to move to a new place and I'm not going to tell you the address either. From now on, we're going to live completely separate lives. Goodbye. Leilani, why won't you answer the phone? Hurry up and pick up the phone. I've been trying to call you since yesterday afternoon. You can't ignore me forever. I'm your mother. Answer the phone right now. Mother? I'm sorry, I think you have the wrong number. I don't have a mother. What are you talking about? Don't be silly. I'm your mother, don't joke around. I need to talk to you about something serious. Oh, well, I think I used to have one, but unfortunately we cut ties last month and decided we wouldn't bother each other ever again. So, who are you? I'm not interested in talking to anyone who calls themselves my mother. I think I remember we had a fight like that. But you didn't actually take it seriously, did you? I didn't mean any of that. It's all in the past. Let's forget that silly fight and make up. I want us to get on from now on. For me, having a mother is a thing of the past. Even when I still called her my mom, she didn't act like one. Don't joke about things like that. I'm being serious. I have something to ask you. We're in a lot of trouble and you've got to help us. So listen to me properly. And I'm telling you that I have no obligation to anything you have to say. We're not family anymore. You're the one that said I was just a weight that you had no use for me anymore. So what made you change your mind? <sighs> we haven't been able to pay the rent for our new home. And we might be kicked out next month if we don't pay up. You've got to help us. I don't understand what's going on, but it looks like we need you after all. I'll let you know what our address is. So come quick. Please forget about that stupid fight we had. And come live with us. <laughs> you say that, but what do you want from me? I don't see how I can help you. I thought I already made it clearer before we cut ties that I've done more than enough for this family. You chose to ignore that and didn't think you had any reason to feel any gratitude for the things I did. So I chose to start over. I'm not surprised about the situation you're in now. To put things simply, Dad wasn't bringing any money home, so it's only a matter of course that you couldn't pay the rent. What are you talking about? Your dad's still working. He should be earning more than enough. Just because you cut ties with us doesn't mean you can be so rude towards your father. Besides, that's impossible. It seems that you thought the money he was earning was available for us to use on the bills and stuff. But that's a mistake. He was using all that money to pay off the debt he owed. So he hasn't paid for anything these past 10 years. He hasn't put any money into paying the loans for the house, and he hasn't had any money to spare to even pay the bills. He couldn't afford to pay the mortgage, so he had to rewrite the contract for the house years ago. It was in my name when you all moved out. So I decided to sell it, since I didn't want to live there anymore either. What? What? That old house was in your name? That's not possible. Wait a minute. I need some time to process this. No. What? You're talking about... That doesn't make any sense. Why would he put the house in your name? You still don't understand? Dao wasn't earning as much as you like to think he was. He was earning much less than me and had to use all of his salary on paying back the debt he owes. I think that the situation you're faced with right now is more than enough proof that this salary can't cover the rent, bills, and money you need for groceries. Don't you understand how useful my pathetic salary was? I don't know what you're talking about. He should have already finished paying off the debt he owed years ago. Why is he still paying it off? What you're saying still doesn't make any sense. 
You think he already finished paying it off? No way! That's going to be impossible. Do you even know how much he owes? It's an amount big enough that he won't be able to pay it off by the time he retires. No matter how much he works overtime, even if he earned the same as I did, it'd still be difficult for him to clear it all up. What? Plus, you were saying that you moved because Hudson got a job, right? I understand that you wanted to start a new life and a new home without me, but you really should have thought about it first. Or did you really think that I would cling to you and beg for you to let me in? And that you'd get me to find a job where I could earn twice the amount I do right now? Please, Aubrey, let me come live with you. I don't want to be alone. I'll work harder and do everything you say. Is that the reaction you thought you'd get? You must be kidding. You're the one that thinks too much of herself. If you think that you can use your own daughter that much and expect her to be your slave forever. Of course not. It took me a while, but I finally realized that there is nothing I can do to make you happy or love me as much as you love Hudson. So I've given up on trying to get on with someone as toxic as you. You're nothing to me. I can't believe you would say that. You're a horrible daughter. I did all of this for your sake too, you know. So that you would finally realize that you should work harder for your parents' sake. But Hudson's my baby boy. He's going to be the one to take care of us when we're old. So I realized that we had no use for a grown daughter who isn't even earning that much and isn't even married yet. I just wanted to chase you out of the house before you cause any more trouble for us. You're just a waste of space. And I felt it was the best time to move since Hudson would be getting his first pay this month. <laughs> I'm tired of you playing the victim, Aubrey. Anyway, I'm saying that you shouldn't have decided to move so fast before even knowing how much Hudson would be earning. Do you even know where he works? And the hours? He barely works 20 hours a week. It's a part-time job at a convenience store. If he was by himself, he could probably get by. Is that true? He's only working part-time? Why do you even know that? Why would he tell you? When he didn't even tell me? He told me that he was working for a major corporation. A really big business. He didn't say anything about a convenience store. He didn't say anything about how many hours he was working either. Well, I guess he wasn't lying. It's a convenience store that has stores all over the country. So it's true that it's a major business. But he obviously lied to you because he wants to meet the stupidly high expectations you have of him. So that you wouldn't judge him like you judge me. And because he wants to impress everyone. But I'm surprised you would actually move before confirming how much he was paid. You didn't even wait for his first paycheck before you decided. You clearly aren't looking reality in the face, Aubrey. You conveniently choose to ignore all the stuff I've done for you. But you believe that Hudson must be doing much better than I am because he's your baby boy. Why does it matter whether it's part-time or not? I never knew you looked down on other people's jobs like that. You should be ashamed of yourself. It doesn't matter as long as he's earning enough. $600. That's all he earns in a month. Like I said, if he was living alone in a super cheap apartment, maybe that'd be enough. But I don't think it's enough to support the three of you, especially if you can't rely on Dad's paycheck. You're joking. That's all he earns? I thought he was going to get a lot more. You called my $2,000 salary pathetic. What would you call Hudson 600? What's the saying? Oh, I know. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. I hope you finally understand how much I've done for this family. There's no way you'll make any of the payments this month or the next month without me anyway. I doubt Hudson will be as generous as I was. He's more likely to keep all the money he makes for himself because he's grown into an adult with everyone around him doing everything for him. I can't believe this. Why didn't you tell me? We moved all this way for nothing? I guess we have no choice but to move back into the old house at the very least. We won't have to pay rent there. So will you give it back to us? I already told you I sold it. You did what? I didn't give my permission for you to do that. I told you I was paying the mortgage. So dad thought it was only right that the contracts be rewritten in my name. I'm the owner of that house. Well, until I sold it, which I had every right to do because you all moved out and I didn't want to live there anymore. And I'm warning you, you can't use any of the spare keys you still have to get in. Because the locks were changed when I sold it. It's already been sold and it's already someone else's property. If you try to get in, it'll be considered trespassing and you'll be arrested. I can't believe you. How could you sell the house while we were gone? What's wrong with you? Wait, is that why your dad was so worried? He was shocked when I told him you weren't coming with us too. Was that all because he knew he couldn't afford to pay anything? I thought it was strange that he kept asking me where you were and why you weren't coming with us. But this must be why. 
Then what did you do? What did I do about what? You were saying that you were going to move. Where are you living now? You sold the house, so you must have gotten a lot of money from that too. Where did you move? I'm living in a penthouse apartment closer to my job. You're what? For the past 10 years, you've been looking down on my job. But I think I deserve a little more respect. I don't know what you consider worthy of respect. But at the very least, I've got my own office, and I've been entrusted with managing several major projects. So I earn relatively a lot. Despite everything you say about me being inferior to Hudson and not earning enough money, I realized that I deserve to spend my own money on myself. So I moved closer to the city center, to an apartment that has a great view of the skyline. You can't be serious. We're about to be kicked out of our house, and we can't even afford to find another place. But you're living in a penthouse apartment? That doesn't make any sense. If you've got the money to buy that place after you sold the house, then we deserve to live there too. No way, that's not happening. You asked for this. You were the one that planned to move out while I was away on a business trip and said that she wanted to disown me. Leilani, don't be like that. You'll forgive me, won't you? I was so stupid. But I'm your mother after all. Let's forgive and forget. I just didn't understand you and didn't try to talk to you enough. I never knew how much you were helping us. But I do now. So can we go back to the way things were and help each other again? <laughs> no way! Oh my god, this is hilarious. Just how convenient do you think I am? Leilani, just think about it for a minute. You don't have to say no that quickly. We're going to be kicked out of our house. You've got to help us. Why should I? You were laughing about how I wouldn't have a home to come back to when I got back from my business trip. You didn't even tell me you were planning on moving. And now that you know the truth about who has the money, you're begging me to let you live with me? I don't even want to tell you my address. I don't want you coming anywhere near me. Are you being serious, even though I'm your mother? Like I said, I don't have a mother. We already cut ties, remember? You're a stranger to me now, and I don't want anything to have to do with you. But if you pay me back all the money I've put into paying the mortgage and the bills in the past 10 years, I might think about letting you know where I'm living right now. Well, I think that's going to be impossible. So goodbye. After all, Leilani blocked her mother's number and wouldn't reply to any of the messages her family sent her. Her mother and family ended up being evicted from the house they had moved into just weeks after they had moved in and had nowhere else to go. Leilani's father was furious with her mother for the way she had treated Leilani. So when they had finally managed to find a small apartment to live in, he ordered her to get a job so she could help pay the bills herself and wouldn't let her come back until she had found a full-time job. As for Hudson, he disappeared after he got his first paycheck and never came back. It looks like he wasn't interested in taking care of their mother either, despite how much she had praised and favored him over Leilani. But their mother only has herself to blame for not treating her own adult children with respect. <laughs>